guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, welcome back to the Hermit Crafty. How are you doing, my friends? It's me, the Zebra Bee. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> I think, you know, I'm not sleep deprived. I'm full of energy. Um, maybe that's, that's, uh, anyways, what? <laughs> Okay, welcome guys, how are you doing? Um, yeah, we're back here in action. Last time we built this insane hourglass as our shop, the amazing big wood shop. And um, already there is some yeah, cool ideas for a logo for our shop. The DCP um, was working on it. Um, Yukon Ur sent one in that is not appropriate for Hermitcraft, all right? I'm just saying. <laughs> So, we'll see. Uh, eventually, we have a cool logo for Big Wood, too. And, yeah, talking about Yukon... Er, oh, yeah, they were complaining I removed their R's. I think we should add a few more. Yukon... Er, <laughs> with the amazing fan art of this week. Uh, painted this amazing, amazing drawing of us in front of the hourglass. It's glooming ominously in the back. It's a high format picture, um, so I highly recommend checking out the link in the video description if you want to see the full art piece. It's amazing. Big shout outs to Yukon. Um, all the important links, of course, in the video description. DCP is cooking again. I love those guys. <laughs> the DCP, the Doc Collaboration Project, in case you wonder what that is. And it all started um, to really form with the murals over in the perimeter when we did uh, the Season 9 Insanity, right? And yeah, I just love those guys. <laughs> They're so funny. Um, and I see everything they do. Everything. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you might say, hey, why is Doc in such a happy mood? Doesn't he know what happened? Oh, I know, that's why I'm in such a happy mood. Look at that. I mean, I was already concerned, you know, by putting all this work in and, um, you know, branding this shop and there's the Doc, uh, the goat logo on top and all of that. And then I felt a little bit bad. I thought, man, yeah, those big salmon guys, they also need to kind of put their own twist to the shop. And without me actually telling them, um, they did. Look at that. Ain't that amazing? They turned the top half of the hourglass into an aquarium. This is probably the best thing I've ever seen and it makes me so happy. I, I really have to say the creativity of the big salmon guys is unmatched. What's that? Oh... Wait, I thought he wanted to build it right there. And I had to scoot over. I think that's the permit office. Looks ominous. What does that even say? OHP? What? Anyways, they did a fantastic job. Look at that. They even made it so the water is flowing down into the lower half a bit. And um, that's so cool. I mean, that's just uh, fantastic. Fantastic work by them. Look how glorious it looks from here. I mean, now this truly became the big salmon and a big wood shop. Now we just need to find a good way for Joe to be represented and then it's, it's, it's all fine. Oh, wait, there's a sign actually. Maybe it's uh, by a customer requesting some welcome to big wood salmon. Yeah, ah, yeah. Nice, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so now we just need to find a good way to integrate Joe into the build. And then everybody should be happy. And I still have all the lower portion to fill up with sand for now. And in case it gets more, I mean, uh, eventually we might have to drown out the salmon. Yeah. Ha, ah, am I happy today. Yeah, so with Joe, I had a quick talk the other day on his stream when I quickly visited and I said, okay, I soon got to start designing down here. And he suggested, which I thought was a really cool idea, for each of the wood types, we do a differently themed room in, you know, with using the building blocks um, of that particular wood type. Then we'd have like six different rooms in here, I guess, or different areas. We'll see. It's a round build. Maybe we can work with cake slices and so on. And then um, from there on out, sell the wood and it's nicely themed and cool. So I thought um, that was cool. And 
Joe also asked if he might be able to build one of his areas by himself or whatever. It's like, yeah, cool. I think that should work out. And I need to lay out the ground floor a little bit, but um, yeah, we can do that. In another positive note, I saw Cleo of op opened up her bookshop, which is very cool. Very cool. Here are all the books she got from my villagers. Very nice. Yep. She chose, though, uh, to kind of trick trick the system a bit, I guess. There's a book return. Huh. What is... Those are all crappy books. Who would... Anyways. So, how it works. Buy a drink. It costs you three diamonds. Get a free book with a drink. So, yeah. She... Look at that. Normally, half of that would belong to us. And yeah, she's clearly trying to fleece us because, well, she's is saying, okay, I'm just selling coffee or tea and I'm not really selling diamonds. So to sum it up, she stole our villagers, then said, well, what you gonna do about it? Then said, oh, well, you're gonna have 50% of what we own. Then she decided to give us nothing. Well, that means there is not much choice for us. I mean, my hands are going to be forced. Anyways, first thing on the agenda this morning is we need to meet with Iskial. He's somewhere and he was asking for a lock deal. Haha, -ha! our first lock deals are being made. Oh, wait, let's have a quick look over here. How is it going? How is it going? Man, oh man, almost looks like this uh, shop is really having some problems with refilling of this mangrove logs here. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I might have to talk to Skiz. This license might be a bit too much for him. He might have to take it off his hands. Just trying to help here. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder who buys that logs all the time. Anyways, let's um, look for our good old friend um, Iskjal. And while we are here around spawn, of course, we need our appropriate transportation. Here we go. Ah, I brought Donkey to the spawn in one of the streams. And, um, oh yeah, we brought, <laughs> we were breeding this mule here, which is technically now, I think, the best animal on the server. I crossbred it with one of um, Keralis' fast um, horses. <laughs> and, um, you know, the thing with this donkey is like super fast, 14.2, as you know. Like, as fa pretty much as fast as they come. But they're always bad jumpers. But with mules, you can combine the speed of the donkey, the jumpiness of a great horse, where this is a five-block jumper or so. And, of course, you could put some chests on the bad boy and actually have some... Yeah, load capacity. So, mules obviously are by far the best riding animal. So, let's see. Can we stay away? Ah, yeah, over here. Okay, okay, cool. What is this birch building there? Ah, it's just a farm. <laughs> All right. So, on my way to see what Iskal wants. Hello, Doc. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. How, how be you? Ah, just delightful. You know, just discovered that my business partners decorated the hourglass beautifully, leaving their own little note to it. I'm in a happy mood. Very happy mood. It is a very nice hourglass. It is also very massive. Shall we go over there? I we can. We can. I want to see it. It's built like this that makes me need a new PC. <laughs> it's so big dude <laughs> yeah what even is, like i tried to get into this earlier but i couldn't oh there is no getting into it yet Please. there will be the floor the shopping space will below this is just for all the beautiful sand i will ha get from all the wood i sell oh oh i see mm -hmm. i see are you gonna be able to fill it up this season well, I hope you're going to be a, a, a great customer like you are right now, right? You contacted me. You need some wood. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, okay. <coughs> uh, yes, I need some wood. <clears throat> yes. Wood, you say. Wait, let me quickly wood, yes. put my donkey away. 
like what did you need like a stack of oak you said a stack of oak yeah that was what i said yeah <laughs> ah well it's great it's great that i'm that i got this for you one second i need to prepare okay. my sales space here real quick yep yep I'll just take okay. a minute pop pop up a dog pop-up shop yeah I like it. yeah yeah Um, I'm back. Hello. Hello. My goodness, what is going on here? You building a floor? <laughs> Just trying to set up my my cell cell space. You know, as you know, okay. Schalke boxes. We are allowed to use Schalke boxes to sell our goods. <laughs> we are yes. There's this no. Is why this the Schalke is permit is like a beat here. <laughs> yes, that's why the, exactly. Like, so, but nobody said how much, you know, lock has to be in a Schalke box, for example, right? I mean, I, I, I've never, you know, I mean, until now, maybe it comes up in the meeting now or whatever, but for now, I was like, yeah, right? It's free real estate. It's free real estate. Yeah. Yeah. So no, that's right. Yeah. Like, you know, it was a long debate and in, 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 should um, Schalke boxes be... Uh, a tier, yeah, and it got yeah. demoted. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> <I'll just laughs> this is brilliant. Okay, I see what you're doing. I'm picking up what you're putting down, and I'm liking it. What? I'm liking what it. What do you mean? What I'm just this? selling you a simple stack of oak locks, yeah. totally yeah. within the rights of my license. Of course, and then yeah. the packaging yeah. comes with it. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, I heard some people are selling tea and giving away books for free. Oh, that is true. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I've been, mm -hmm. a, I've been an enjoyer of some tea or some some hot chocolate and mm -hmm. coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, doc. Okay, well, tell me, talk to me about this. Uh, <laughs> talk to me about this. Uh, what is this salmon thing? What is this? I have salmon? no idea. Listen, man, we went caving like good Minecrafters do on day one, and then yeah. all of a sudden. Like, I don't even remember I spoke about fish or anything and all of a sudden these crazy people are onto me saying I shouldn't mess with big salmon and they're trying to put pressure on me, harass me, uh, force me to decorate my base looking like a salmon. I mean, and then oh, naturally no. I just blow, blew them up, right? I mean... Yeah, uh, sounds fair. Sounds fair, yeah. So, sounds absolutely fair in my book. Mm -hmm. And then, as luck wants it... When we were rolling for our licenses for the shops, guess who were my business partners? Literally them. <laughs> so now I'm stuck with these people <laughs> in my shop. <laughs> And they're so nice. Look, as I said, they even decorated my beautiful hourglass. It took me like 80 hours to make. It's Put some really beautiful nice. fish, yeah. the finishing touches, I guess. All right. There, oh, there's a fish up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's Very a nice. it's a shared shop after all. Wait, I brought a bed. As a good salesman, I am. Yep. Very nice. All right. All right. All right. I will say I have been. Uh, uh, so so the beef is the big salmon because that makes sense. He filled my house that I built uh, with salmons. What? The messing with you with too? Salmons. I mean, yeah, yeah, he was totally messy. Look, I got a nice house built. I found mm -hmm. a tutorial on YouTube, built a house. I'll show you. I'll show you. I saw, the house. you I saw the house. I saw the house. It's beautiful. Yeah, I built a nice house. It's yeah. a nice house, right? Very yeah, it's all right design. over there. And then, yeah. and then he filled it with water and I, I gave it to him. Wow. Now it's his house now. See, I tell you, these guys are bullies. Thank God I'm I not alone. Thank God. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> look, here is... Um, <laughs> Thank God you're not alone as a bully. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah sorry uh, here is here is yeah here's your wood <laughs> pre-packaged and everything okay yeah that's that's and uh four stacks of sand please four stacks of sand which I'm, i will I give like two stacks off to joe because he's my business partner and i'm a real good business partner I'm going to tip you and give you eight stacks. Wow. Oh, baby. Dude, I'm going to yep. place that inside my beautiful hourglass now. Right is that away. the first sand? Yes, that's the first sand. It is. Yay! Earned. And there will be plenty more this season. Okay, ah. perfect. All right. I will, I will pack this up then. I mean, it's already pre-packed and nice. Thank you yeah. so much for the oak. I, I can't wait to build my oak. Uh, yeah, I hope it will be a great thing you make out of that 
oak. Yeah, <clears throat> I love I love oak. It's the it's great wood. Should um, I should I maybe help you carry? Um, uh, do you have an ender chest? I I have an ender chest, but ah, yeah, that I that that one. could speed things up. One second to your service, big wood, oh, best job in the, town. Big wood is indeed a very good shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm oh, have you to could, do couldn't a few bring months, it over yeah. to say the best. I know you own a shop yourself. Oh, that's, okay, I get it. That's too much to. No, ask no, from I don't. Guy. I don't have a shop. <laughs> actually, actually, to be honest, I will agree. It is the best shop. It's ah, definitely ah. the biggest shop. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. The first bits of sand in the hourglass of time. It's a beautiful sight. Who would have guessed? Oakwood, huh? Top seller so far, Oakwood. That means we need to immediately take care of Oakwood production and have a really cool design for that. Ah, it's uh, really fitting with our motto, I don't want to do anything, because, yeah, that farm will literally produce infinite amounts of uh, wood for us without us doing anything. And I love that. <laughs> ah, back in the swamp. <sighs> Those city folk, completely crazy, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, but I picked a spot, I think, uh, somewhere close to Joe and uh, around B-Dubs' place where we will build our, I guess, main base, you could call it, where we want to live for real in the future. But still, this production facility turned out to be super useful so far. And it's one of those spots where I have farms that require, like, no player input, right? We have the Schalke farm that is chunk loaded from this portal. Then we had the bee farm si sitting on the under other side of this chunk loader portal. Why not make use of it while we're at it? And um, I thought, let's add a really super efficient wood farm here. And this is a design uh, methods in Tuno work like tirelessly forever. Like, <laughs> yeah, but it's super efficient. In the end, pretty much it spits out one log per fur for 1.1 bone meal. So it's uh, really efficient and it's awesome. It's, you know, don't have to do anything. Turn it on and I go away. And it produces uh, over 3,000 logs per hour. But, you know, as in every tree farm, before tree farming um, is, yeah, bone meal farming. Bone meal farming, uh, we need uh, tons of bone meal. And, uh, yeah, why not use the best bone meal farm that is out there? As we all know, it's the Chromos of the <laughs> Kronos server, right? It's a tech server. And I think Dark, a few years ago, offered a world download uh, for the Moss uh, farm concept. So I will link that for sure, in case you want to look into that farm concept as well. It's just the most lag efficient and efficient uh, Moss farm design out there. And at the moment, I don't think there's anything better. So yeah, I'll build a quadruple element up there on this class platform. Uh, already prepared and um, from there on out um, we should have no problem feeding all kinds of bone meal farms although i might make more of these because yeah these cells they really don't cause much lag and are really really efficient but yeah here we will definitely overproduce this is a quadruple cell um, that should put out more than 9000 bone meal per hour um, and i think yeah we will need roughly 3000 something is uh, a little bit more for our uh, wood farm so yeah we should have a nice overflow of bone meal as well all right all right nice nice it's just a solid design man straightforward build and it fits into one chunk which is also really good for chunk loading so the whole thing is lined up in a chunk chunk here 16 by 16 really neat and yeah i tested it real quick already and it seems to work fine it's the first time i built one of the chromo setups but it's just by far the best and lag optimized design out there it uh, is always a problem with you know these uh, moss generators there's so many items all the time and um, that causes entity lag and it's uh, unfortunate for your fps in game and uh, with a design like that, also, you know, it costs server strain, of course, if you run things like that. And uh, this design is made to instantly destroy all the items as quick as possible. That's why you have this flowing lava on top here. And here are just the platforms, uh, stone platforms. There's obviously 
uh, stone generators in there and yeah get pushed up and um, this way we get new moss and then the moss just goes into an array of composters as in all moss farms but it's all super nice and compact and stacked together and as you see really yeah performance friendly and back here then you know um, yeah our moss comes out and um, this is what we're gonna use uh, our moss I say our bone meal comes out and this is what we're gonna use you know to run the whole dealio so let's turn it off here real quick it is um, yeah the tick rates are also optimized and so on that's why it has a relatively uh, complex like uh, redstone wiring below it's a uh, tick perfect <laughs> so yeah i love this design it's really good as i said a link in the video description if you're interested into looking into your yeah, moss farm optimization and um, yeah with that said below here now this is gonna be the output for our wood farm we kind of scoped it out we're gonna uh, put the wood farm right below here and yeah this wood farm is super awesome i couldn't wait to build it initially actually um, we had planned to build that right at the get-go of the season um, you know to use the wood it produces to kind of uh, power the bone uh, the piston crafting setup but then we opted to finally do something useful with the allies and go for the bamboo setup down there which is uh, technically easier for sure to build as a starter setup like this requires a little bit of red redstone infrastructure now those builds we do um, they are a little bit more complex but uh, of course not as complex as can be so yeah um, sits well here within the range of our chunk loader and yeah now the swamp thing will get another addition um, let's add a cool wood farm right here Alright, I see bone blocks going up here. Nice. Okay, that means our farm is actually full of bone meal right now. I just changed a little bit with the water flow because, yeah, you can still see it here. Some bone blocks could get stuck when they got uh, washed up there. So I changed the hopper layout here a little bit. For the shulker loaders, right there, that load up. Um, yeah, on the one side oak and on the other side bone blocks. Um, so that is nice. The whole farm setup is pretty much done. Here we have a blast chamber. Here is the growing and pushing area. Right here we will grow azelia trees fully automatically. Those dispensers are bone mealing. On the other side we got water flushing out, destroying um, whatever is in the way, moss and such, right? It's a known concept with these azelia farms. This though is uh, trimmed to maximum efficiency. And yeah, we can push a huge block of logs out this way then and try to blast them. And yeah, now comes the moment of truth. I'm gonna switch on the farm and um, hopefully everything works. Okay, there goes nothing. There is TNT dropping from on top. Oh, we grew an azelia tree there. Oh, this is looking promising. Yeah. Let's let's observe down here. Very good. Yep. Tree grew, gets pushed up. We reconvert. Yeah. And we have several slices here sitting right next to each other that have potential to grow a tree. You can see if there's anything else but an azelia tree that can potentially grow, it gets immediately immediately washed away. Here the water is uh, let loose from these dispensers alternating though because the water then dissipates quicker and we can bone meal faster and yeah if there's a tree we go like ah cool we detect it and um, yeah instantly grow that and then we push up that slice and we do that via leaf detection technology um, you can see these leaves here and you know as soon as uh, if there is a um, what we call it tree trunk next to those leaves 
the age of these uh, leaves changes and this way we can exactly detect which slice to push and yeah we then just push a simple slice up right here boof we detected that slice gets pushed up reconverted and pushed over and over here the tnt is doing work you know we have a proper nice uh, blast chamber here and um, from what i can tell everything seems to work just fine yep we drop the tnt here staggered so we take out all the oak lock and yeah this thing can fully run chunk loaded we don't have to be here as a player and um, it should be self-sustaining and yeah not only self-sustaining make us a huge profit in bone meal as well so yeah there we go looking good let's observe here a little bit here we got another tree growing boof and there comes the pushing double extension up and then over here in the back side right we have these pushes that push forward and um you help clear the growing area again obviously those cannot be or could be oak logs too but uh, they have to be wood that's just how it works with trees and growing them and so on you cannot have anything else but wood there and yeah i picked some um yeah of the swamp wood <laughs> <laughs> mangroves some call, people call it and yeah it's just so we see, can see the difference but yeah looks good we're pushing out a full nice block here on the side here we have also some some log pushers and leaf crushers you know sometimes um, these trees will branch out to the side and we want to get rid of these logs too so we push them over with this double piston extender here that pushes them in the lane um, in case we need to push them over right and out as well so yeah looks good i think we're producing the first wood the wood then makes it uh, to this collection chamber here up into the ice stream and then over into this side of the shulker loader and hopefully yeah we will have lots and lots and lots of shulker boxes of log in there but i think um yeah we're up and running here we're up and running very nice very nice all right yep I'm gonna watch the setup for a while and see if everything works, but I think we're looking good. Yep, this thing works just flawlessly now. Very cool. Been watching it for a long time now, made some minor adjustments, but now we're cool. Boom, another tree grows. Bone meal spam pauses, just a single slice gets pushed, gets detected by the leaf. If you don't know about leaf stone, right? leaves have an age and the age changes depending on if there's wood next to it or not or other leaves and yeah we're detecting that through those leaves here and that triggers a double push um, yeah to push a lock out and it's really efficient this way we don't waste bone meal or anything just push the single slice out and eventually push them all forward into our blast chamber which i have fitted with some filters down here now all the logs get brushed by this honey line just to make sure i filter out all kinds of items that might end up in here from all the leaves and stuff that is crushed around here just to be 100 percent sure like i filter out sticks you can see there's some sticks laying here or you know azelia some moss carpet seeds and so on at the moment i'm collecting those in this chest below just because i want to see how much it actually is and eventually i will i guess just destroy that yeah but it's working really fine and um, yeah the bone meal production is also constantly running so we're producing tons and tons of bone meal blocks on the side let's see if this uh, shulker box full of them already no nope. it's in the making up in there but oh yeah look at that oak log we already have yeah over three shulker boxes pretty much yeah, there's more in there being produced really nice so the farm works fine about 3500 or something was the rate i think per hour so yeah that's really cool it, it works it works out it has like 1700 per or so right so and i'm running about 90 minutes roughly yeah so we're definitely on track maybe a little bit shorter even yeah nice this is working flawlessly this is so cool to see all right so i guess <laughs> 
I will AFK now and the cool thing is I literally don't have to do anything with the farm. I could be over here running the rest of the setups we got going on here or I could literally be, you know, gone. <laughs> Somewhere else on the server, I can run the Schalke farm at the same time, at the moment that's off. So whatever we need here, we produce it. And um, yeah, Oak Lock is the first stage into fully automated uh, stocking of our shop, which is cool. So next up, I guess we also need to look into a multi-tree farm for all kinds of other wood types. But yeah, this is a good start. Joe will be happy. You know, here on the server, it seems the 50% deals seem to become, you know, what's the standard on here. And everybody seems to adhere to that. You know, you give 50% of your profits um, to your business partners. Um, we never had an incident so far where somebody doesn't pay 50% of their profits and just completely fleeces somebody. So we will see what uh, those consequences will be now for this behavior. I'm just, you know, flying around here randomly not coming from any specific place or anything. Yeah, just wanted to have a look. What is that? <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> it's coming along here. Look at that, though. It's looking really fun out here. I have to say, like, Ren is doing a fantastic job with his terraforming. Look at that. Really, really cool. Making this area as so own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks even better now, I would say. Oh, man. Yeah, and then I think those are Iskial's builds back there coming together. They also blend in nicely. I saw somebody posting, like, it almost looks like a, a rocket that crashed there also. It's true. And then here, Stress Monster Spit poking out here in the back. Oh, there is Iskial. All right. Busy, busy bee. Working on his new video. Nice, nice. Then the Aztec place over there. Um, or Incan. I'm not quite sure what exactly those step pyramids, what culture they're representing there. It's kind of a mix, like always in Minecraft, I guess, right? Um, you can you always mix and match whatever looks good. Yeah, but this looks really fantastic. could almost envision that those, those old pyramids looked like that, right? Partially with the living quarters on top, at least for royalty or maybe the worshippers worshipper there or so. Because mostly those things were temples. Yeah, but that is really cool. I love I love that build, the color combo, you know, on top. Yeah, things are really slowly but surely coming together. <laughs> Hypno this mansion. <laughs> and then Wells is just, uh, you know, the castle guy. Always nice. It looks good. Is this all tough? I think, yeah. Yeah. Definitely is a nice nice new building block for for those castles. Looks good. Things are coming together. And I also think out in the shopping district there's more action. This almost looks like lightning is striking when you fly towards it because of some rendering with the glass and the water in there. <laughs> Funny. I should have put some lights in there so you see it better. I might have to go in there and put some some lighting in. Maybe some sea pickleage. <laughs> oh man. The things I have to endure just to make a good business with sand. <laughs> uh, oh, did Joe pick up his share of the sand, by the way? Let's quickly check on that. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, wow, this is our shop infrastructure here. This one lousy chest. Oh, man. Did other shops pop up here? Clay? Okay. I haven't really even checked those. Pickles, coral blocks of all sorts. It's nice. Moss. It's also good. Quick moss shop. This shop we don't talk about. <laughs> what is that? What? Oh, hay bales. Wow, look at that. Hay bales is also a great commodity, it seems. Look at that, man. This guy is making bank. Who's owning this shop? Bruh. And then we got, yeah, the little mud hut with mud, dirt, and, and things like that. 
packed mud. We never know if, you know, already earnings were collected. But man. <laughs> Who would have known, you know, you can make some decent money with hay. Oh yeah, the portal had to be raised again because it connected uh, to the postal system. <laughs> I think that might be a reoccurring theme throughout the whole season, portals connecting to the postal system. But it was promptly fixed, you know, in difference to uh, how uh, real life works sometimes. Um, you know, when something breaks and the postal service needs to repair it. <laughs> okay. Man, you know, I don't want to be I don't want to be that guy, but I think many of these shops are against the rules technically. You know, they they're just mix and matching all kinds of stuff together that cannot really be sold in one one place, right? Like for example here the the rooted dirt, right? It should be separated from terracotta. This must be a separate job. Oh my god. Might file some paperwork. <laughs> Report them. Oh, what is what has been sold here? Sticks? What? Copper, right? Ah, copper. 16 for one diamond. I assume copper blocks? Yeah, copper blocks is always a, a big seller, man. I think Zuma had this. Oh yeah, and this is uh, Ethos shop. Clearly illegal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Anyways, what? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly illegal. Look at that. What, Joe is it? <laughs> Joe is unaffiliated black glass here. That's technically a legal shop. It's not, you know, connected to this shop. It's clearly unaffiliated and it only shows, uh, sells one, one item um, type, you know, the glass, which should be in a collective technically. But here we have another... Oh man, frog lights are great though. Oh man, I might bring out the wallet. <laughs> Technically here, we already have um, an illegal shop again. What, sea pickles in the mix or what? No, blue glass. I was wondering, yeah, nobody's gonna buy that, man. Why is there sea pickles? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. And the side, yeah, that's completely... Oh, and stone... What, what are the prices? We need to get an idea for what people are charging. One diamond per six stacks. Man, the sand prices I was aiming for are way too cheap. One diamond per stack. One diamond per stack of andesite? What? Wow. We really need to reconsider our pricing policy. So I talked to Joe, you know, and he said, like, let's do about four stacks of sand per one stack of logs. And now looking at some of the prices here, it might be way too cheap. Guys, um, what do you think would be actually a fair price for the wood? If you think about it, think about it like that. It's a replacement for time in a way. How long would it take you, let's say, you, you walk through the woods and chop down a stack of oak log? And how long in relation to it does it take you to shovel sand, right? So, and then we want to be definitely cheaper. We don't want to be equal, right? I don't want to, like, you know, well, I'm already way too nice again. <laughs> Let me just hear your suggestions, all right? I don't want to influence you in any way. Let me let me hear your suggestions, and um, in the meantime, um, yeah, we make our way back. Hopefully, this time we don't end up <laughs> in the postal service. No, okay, it's 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 fixed. All right, back in the swamp, and the swamp thing now looks even more monstrous. <laughs> Man, yeah, so this farm has been running for, I don't know, I went to bed at 1 a.m. and then went AFK until 6.30 in the morning uh, or something. I closed it off before the sh server restart. So that's like five-ish hours and maybe 90 minutes yesterday and then another two hours maybe today. Something along along those lines and that produced this amazing amount of oak wood already without any player interaction at all. That's really, really neat. Super pleased. Here's the bone meal blocks. Um, and I was like, huh, this should be more. Something's off. And I checked and indeed I saw a little flaw in the system that is pretty much because of a Minecraft bug. So this crafter here was stuck. That's the crafter that crafts the excess bone meal that is not needed uh, for the tree growing into the bone meal blocks, right? 
and uh, I checked the crafter and there was seeds in there uh, blocking the crafting recipe and I looked around uh, because yeah of course we made sure right all these are blocked nothing can fall into here and um, this is the line that had seeds in there and really confused with how they got in there obviously here are leaves right and the leaves would despawn and then seed could drop um, and or maybe it could fall down from on top um, you know but this is covered and turns out right here we have the hoppers below these leaves here these leaves will never be destroyed that's the leaf stone that detects pushing up a slice um, you know after we had uh, successful growth here right the, this leaf stone so it's a full block that is technically over the hopper and it should prevent uh, items from falling in there by landing on top of there or anything but as Minecraft is quirky, things can glitch through full blocks and then we have some elevator effects. And that's what I'm assuming that is happening here. That somehow seeds uh, glitch through blocks and then glitch up and somehow end up here in the hopper. That's the only explanation I see. Um, it's not a huge deal. I will just make sure to somewhere here also put a little filter. So, um, you know, we make sure we just filter out bone meal and let bone meal pass through. And um, all the other stuff we just burn or, or kick off or send, I don't know, send to a composter. Although I assume it wouldn't be too much. It's a rare occasion. But yeah, one seed in the system uh, can uh, screw with the crafting here, of course. I mean, for the tree farm itself, it would not be lethal if there's a seed in there. It might, I mean, it would try to dispense it, right, and then just kick it out. And, and then in this cycle, a tree wouldn't grow or it's no chance to grow because it misses the bone meal but it wouldn't break the farm yeah so yeah all in all super pleased with the progress of this episode um we covered the first log type next time we definitely need to move though and and start setting up camp with a proper storage system because things are starting to get hellish i have the most random chests Try starting to compete with Scar here, and then you know, Sh uh, Schalke box is in there with even more random assortment of things. And I'm already adding another chest on top here, and I'm having random Schalke boxes with somewhat organized stuff here. And you know, the redstone is a mess, so yeah, it's clearly time to move and start building up a uh, sorting system because I already could tell it took a bit longer than it needs to to get some stuff. I made a little small thing though, which I think is really practical. And yeah, here you can see the full deal here already. Crafter and another crafter facing into it, into chest. And here we have the recipe of a dropper setup, pretty much. And on top, we have the recipe for a bow setup. And then observer into a note block. And on top here, we just feed a more sticks and string in from the sides, um, you know, to make sure uh, bows are crafted all the time. And then if you mm -hmm. click here, boom, we couldn't see it, but it spit it right into the hopper here. But we can actually get a few dispensers on demand. And that is, of course, yeah, a huge help. You normally, you know, you don't need dispensers in like mass quantities. It's mostly you need a few. And um, for now, this should do the trick. Just a quick click and another dispenser crafted. And yeah, that's, uh, of course, making our life quite a bit easier. And um, yeah, now... It's also time for the comment of the week in this episode, and I have just one thing to say. Bug Lord, I blame you. I blame you. <laughs> uh, see you next time. I'm out. Bye.